How's it going, everybody? I'm Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos. And I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Now, there are a ton of improvements coming to multiplayer on Xbox One. So we asked Graham and Xbox Live's Eric Doty to chat multiplayer with five Xbox Live team members. What are you personally excited for on Xbox One? Well, with multiplayer, we have Smart Match, which is our, our feature that allows you to be searching for a match while you're doing other things. We've also made big investments to our reputation system, which allows you to try to avoid the jerks and play uh, higher quality games. We also have Skype now, which is a great way to communicate. You can communicate while you're playing a game. We also have our new Game DVR feature, where uh, Gold members get the ability to share their clips with the rest of the Xbox Live community. And some great things is like we've taken a lot of the experiences on Xbox 360, like game saves, and just made that invisible to you on Xbox One. Users will never have to worry about roaming their game saves or where they're stored. It's all taken care of for you on Xbox One. I'm really excited about Smart Match. How is that going to improve the multiplayer experience? On Xbox One, we're looking at more like a, we want to create the fun, right? We want to make sure that people are actually having a good, enjoyable, fun, social experience. And so it's not just, could I play with you? It's that, should I play with you? Are you going to have a good time with you? The best way for us to sort of make sure that people have the experience that they want and not have negative experiences with others is to make sure that they're playing the way that they want. And Smart Match is a way of, of sort of making sure that gamers are getting matched in ways that they want to get matched in. So tell us more about Red reputation and why it's so important to the Xbox Live service. Smart Match does a good job of helping kind of group people together with similar reputation scores. When your reputation changes, you start to get matched differently. And the folks that have good reputations, who are just there to have a good time, will actually be matched with folks that are more like them. On Xbox One, it's much simpler now that you can you know, quickly just push the block button, for instance, and quickly just separate the communications from the player, quickly remove them from matchmaking in the future. The thing that's really interesting is when you click block, an element of feedback goes in the reputation system and starts scoring you, right? You get enough blocks and pretty soon your reputation is going to deteriorate. So it sounds like reputation is going to be more important than ever and maintaining your reputation is going to be much more valuable to you as an Xbox Live member. You'll be able to improve your reputation oh, as well, right? Totally, yeah. I mean, one thing you can do definitely is play in the appropriate place. Not just quick match, but if I go into beginner, expect kind of beginner type play. If I play in the veteran place, don't drive backwards down the track, play appropriately. Right. The system just works. From a multiplayer gaming point of view, what, is, what does cloud really mean? One of the canonical examples of how cloud helps multiplayer gaming is the dedicated server model. In traditional peer-to-peer -peer gaming, typically a game will anoint a host, and that, that console becomes the device which all traffic flows through. In a dedicated server model, we nominate a server as the host. So you get a much better, more rapid connection from a user's perspective into that game. So that also means there's far less opportunity for people to cheat as well, right? Exactly, because when you have a dedicated host, the host becomes the authority of the match. So that way, things that are accumulated, like statistics, all come from the host, and it doesn't provide the ability for a user inside that session to actually inject their own statistics. So I'm not going to be able to blame getting beaten on host advantage anymore? That's right. It's all going to be right. about how you play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, every cloud, I suppose. So if you're into a very specific game type on a very specific game, you'll be able to find that game that you really want to get That's into right. easier, right? That's right. So one of the really cool features of the Xbox Live Compute platform is this ability to spin up a server with exactly the parameters that you want to play. So if I want to play deathmatch mode on this particular map, that is now all configurable by the game developer on demand. Also, there's a couple games you've probably already heard of that have been using the Xbox Live Cloud for uh, multiplayer gaming. A big one is Titanfall game that's coming out. They're actually moving large portions of their game computation into the cloud, so a lot of AI, more non-player characters, larger hosted multiplayer sessions with larger numbers of players, really taking advantage of the power that they're getting up on the server and being able to do more locally on the client with you know improved graphics and improved computations locally because they're freeing up all that extra. CPU and memory. Kim, can you give us a little insight into what you're working on? Absolutely. So one of the great features that we're introducing on Xbox One is Home Gold. So as an Xbox Live gamer on Xbox One, you'll have the ability to designate a home console and be able to share your digitally licensed games with other members of your household and friends that may visit your home. If you happen to be a gold member, you'll also be able to share the benefits of your gold membership with others in your home. So your family members, friends that may visit your home, when they're logged into that console, whether you're there or not, um, they will be able to access things like multiplayer um, and those types of benefits that you get as a gold subscriber. So what happens if I'm roaming at a friend's house and logged in on their home console? 
Just sign in to any Xbox One anywhere and your home screen, your digital content, your friends list, your game saves, all of that just goes with you no matter where you go. Family members or friends that happen to be at your home on your home console will also continue to get those gold benefits from that console. So Chad, I know that you work on Xbox Live Achievements. Can you give us a little more background on what we can expect on Xbox One? First, we started with 360 achievements. So when people on Xbox One log in, they'll see all their gamer score and all their current achievements there. The achievement system on Xbox One, it's decoupled from the game. So games can start offering new achievements every week, every month, as, as often as they want to. We also have this new concept called challenge achievements, which allow games to provide, you know, time exclusive opportunities. There's also community challenges, where a game can challenge its community to drive a million miles. And if the community is able to do that, that will unlock um, great things for the community. So across the Xbox One experience, you'll see activity feeds of the challenges and achievements your friends have earned. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see all the challenges and achievements that games are offering to you. All this is going to help games provide a great way to keep their players super engaged.